come in to, to like the spiritual community on this one because I'm not, I don't know enough, right? So, wondering about spiritual warfare versus ascension symptoms. And um, so I looked up, you know, I'm looking up as I'm on here with you. What some what some symptoms of ascension may be that you can look forward to and I and <laughs> all right now I've talked about the ones that I know about that's when you um you have your Kundalini experience you have different vibrations when comes to astral projection um, you know you see the angel numbers you see different you may see um, you, it's a lot of different things that go on so let me go to, to something it, this comes from let me see all right that's not really talking about symptoms. This is talking about, okay. All right, so this right here, okay, and this comes from uh, ELC Institute. And they say, letting go of once tightly held beliefs and views. Now when your crown chakra is, um, when you have a balanced crown chakra, that's, that's what happens. Um, zoning out extended periods of time feeling spaced out they say sensitivity to negative people events especially the news I also think that's another crown chakra um, balance um, feeling tingling electric like energy running through parts of the body and that's why I was talking about the vibrations uh, having more meaningful Having more meaningful dreams, being able to decipher dream state imagery and messages. Okay. Um, that's our third eye function. I'm just naturally associating it with the chakras. I, that's just where my mind is going. Um, becoming aware and seeing the meaning behind synchronicities, the seemingly unrelated events and signs we see and experience but we usually ignore, mostly ignore is what it says. All right, that, that'd be like the angel numbers. If you, you know, you spot like a butterfly, if you, you know, you see like a spirit animal type of situation going on. That's what I think that's talking about. I'm wishing to break away from blind conformity, outdated institutions, unnecessary customs, and overall status quo. Another crown chakra balance. Unexplained ch changes in appetite, like eating habits, um, and or weight loss. You may even look younger, he says. Um, says, wishing to spend more time in nature. Spontaneous healing of long-held ailments. Changing what you read do with your spare time or watch tv or even cutting the core or all together greater awareness of yourself in the outside world greater sense of inner peace and interconnectedness with intimate periods of emotional upheaval okay so that's the that's what the EOC Institute has for ascension symptoms. And yes, um, I'm aware of some of those. Okay. And so, um, let me see. Let me see what somebody else says about it. Okay. Let me see what... Um, the insight timer has to say about it. Okay. And I'm just, just randomly pulling up people. 
right? And so hopefully, you know, some of these these folks who have, um, you know, shared this information can um, can help because, like I said, I can tell you what I, you know, know about, but I, I want to tell you something I don't. So let me see what. Um, Oh, they don't have it as a, a written text, so that's not going to help me. Um, all right, and so, um, I mean, what, you know, I always want to ask y'all questions. What, what do y'all think about that? Like, because it happens differently for everyone at different times, you know, it's, um, it's kind of like, um, it's not, although the, the things that happen are some of the same things. They happen at different times. So everybody's experience is different. And so we got to think about that. When did you first have an experience and you knew um, that is what it was? It was definitely spiritual. You know, I think um, a lot of people, it happens in church, you know, and it's, it's interesting at those times because the energy in church, you know, when you think about the energy of all these people who are uh, focused on the same thing and that energy happening, I think that's um, it's an awesome place to, to have the experience, especially when you have other people um, that you love around you, you know what I mean? Um, so let me see what someone else says about it. Um, and I'm talking about ascension symptoms. I'm going to get to the spiritual warfare because that's kind of tougher to talk about, especially even looking it up because <clears throat> when it comes to that, sometimes, you know, it's like everything else, actually. You either know it or you don't, right? But people who know certain things, they, they just know. And so um, it's when full people who want to use their knowledge, their gifts in negative ways, uh, you know, to harm others, to do, you know, not great things. And... When you have, when you are like a person, like what's going on in the news, y'all know, uh, I didn't even listen to this guy. What's his name? The Tate, the Tate guy. I didn't even listen to him. I think the first video I saw, a complete video of his was like today, earlier. I think I came across one of his videos and no, that wasn't, that's not true. I did come across something. He was talking um, about women in a negative way, and I never did click back on him. But then I saw something today, and I clicked on it, and then he was really talking, um, you know, high level as far as um, how people who are trying to wake up, they're being attacked and stuff like that. And I thought that was interesting knowing that what's going on with him right now. So that's where you, you get the, the, uh, the spiritual warfare that's going on because certain things are, you know, can happen when people who are using it for bad things, bad purposes to, to do wrong, to make the folks who are here to, uplift and, and do good things, you know, they use it to stop them or to halt them or to do whatever. And I think he spoke to that in the video, whatever, but uh, I didn't know this side of him. I didn't really listen to him. And so um, I might tune in to see what else he has to say, because I know that when it came to the men, women talk, I really didn't vibe with what he was saying on the one or two things I saw, I don't know how long ago, but I might look into it. Anyway, um, so what else? Um, yeah, let's see what 
See, I don't want, I'm going to see if they got it in a way I can read it because the other one had like a video. I want to play a video of this. All right. So this is what the open spirit has to say. On ascension symptoms. All right, and I'm not gonna go into the whole thing. I'm not able, actually, I don't know if you're um, supposed to be able to do that, or whatever. If you if you don't know, you 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 gotta a portion is okay, but not the whole the whole thing. Anyway, so oh, the open spirit says that the ascension symptoms you may feel will usually reflect. What is clearing and expanding in you, for instance, if it is your heart that is clearing for expansion, you may feel palpitations. If it's your third eye, you may experience blurred visions or flashes of light. What follows is a list of some of the most common ascension symptoms and what it could be clearing for expansion. If it's ringing of the ears, it says you can, um, your hearing is being adjusted to be able to to hear higher frequencies. All right, and now I know that's one of the common ones that we we sometimes ignore. We don't, you know, pay a lot of attention to it. We may notice it, but then we brush it off like, okay, my ears were ringing out of nowhere. Right? Sleep interruption. You're working out what holds you back in like doing your sleep state. Did I say, yeah, that's what it says. Okay. Feeling drained of energy. Energy is moving into the physical body for clearing. Now, that's a tricky one because sometimes when you feeling drained, you got to know what's going on around you because it's not a, it's usually a reason. So if you're around people, the draining of energy could be because of the vibrations around you. So that's a tricky one. Um, if you just spoke with someone on the phone or had a video chat with someone and your energy is drained, that's, that's a vibration thing. Um, so I think that's a tricky one, right? Um, frequent headache or pressure in the head, six and seven chakras opening up, all right? And that's not what I'm feeling. It's not a headache. It's a it's, it's a tingling, and it's very um, specifically located. Um, okay, heart palpitations or fluttering sensations. Your heart chakra is clearing out old wounds to allow more unconditional love to enter. And that's interesting because. Um, you know, I'm just going back to my experiences to share because I don't really, um, I, don't, I just felt like that. I don't know. Um, I, I remember when I, my heart palpitations began because it really, it scared me at first. You know, I was too young for it to be happening, first of all. And I was driving. I remember that and I had to pull over and... I didn't know what was going on. And so that was before my awakening. And so I'm, I'm, you know, this is the first time I'm hearing anything about that being a part of ascension symptoms. Interesting. Okay. Um, it also says, this, this is the open spirit, um, sudden or extreme changes in body temperature. Since energy is running through you, clearing out old energy patterns, right? Feeling as you don't belong or detach from the external world. You may become aware that you are more than what you thought you were. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. I think that's something that is um, common amongst, you know, awakened people as a, as a whole. I think, um, yeah, 
That's interesting. Okay. And increase sensitivity to nature. Becoming aware you are part of the whole. A sudden increase in synchronicity. Your frequency and vibration is matching that of a higher source. And becoming more introverted. You may be feeling the need, I think, to go up inward for answers is what they're trying to say. Okay. And that was the open spirit um, thoughts about ascension symptoms. All right. And I'll do one more. Um, and then I'm going I'm to shut it down real quick. I just wanted to jump on here because I think... Um, I think it's so, it, it's, it's so freeing to talk about it now and it's encouraging to see so many people on here freely talking about it now because when I first was having stuff happen I didn't know who to talk to if I can talk to anybody if you know somebody thought I would think I was tripping out and, and, and losing it and everything and so um just the, the freedom to be able to, to express this is, is beautiful. Um, all right, and so let's go to, and I think these are not um, academic uh, sources. I'm just looking up online stuff. Okay. And the last one I will pull up here. Let me see. All right. And so this is, I'm not familiar with this person. However, I'm interested in what they have to say. Um, and so let's see if there's something that I can pull up for you as I'm looking at this and Seeing what this is about. Okay. So this is Ashley Malilo. All right. And, and she's talking about stages of spiritual. Oh, that's not the same thing. That's not it. Let me, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's not what I was, um, that's not what I was looking for. Okay, one more. Okay. All right, this is the last one I'm gonna, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna share on this tea time. All right, and so this is from Merkaba Mali. Catch your name. So Merkaba Mali says, the ascension symptoms, body's ache, body aches and pain. All right. Um, and she was sharing here, oh, and I'm guessing this is she, um, that she experienced hip and back pain that disappeared quickly. Interesting. Okay. Um, what else is here? Is that all? Okay, I think that's it. She goes into um, her experience with the pain that went on with her and how it went away the next day okay not really well I was looking for more like anybody who had a list so but I said that was going to be the last one and so that's what it shall be um All right, but what I like about what Marco Bamali has here is he has some self-care um, for for the ascension symptoms. So her 
her thoughts on things that you should do once you have ended symptoms are drink filtered water um, more than usual. All right. Be very aware of what you're eating. Do meditation and yoga. She specifically suggests um, the yoga nidra relaxation. Uh, she says go into nature. Sleep. Take a salt bath. and do the pranayama breathing okay and that's from Merkel Bamali all right um, that is some of the ascension stuff okay okay But that's something that I think um, is good to kind of share too. And that's why I'm coming to you because I, I this is new for me. And so um, what to do when you're having them. And I think um, because we, are, we have people all over the place now who, who have information and that's okay to share. I think going through it alone is like really, oh, I can imagine. Um, fortunately, when I had, um, I had witnesses to some of my, um, my experiences. And so that was very helpful because, it, I mean, I really, some of the things that happen, I mean, most of the things that happen, you know, are internal, you know what I mean? And so it's not something that, Anybody can produce in you is a God thing. And it's also something that is a personal experience. And so if you're telling somebody about this personal experience you have, they they can just say, oh, you just saying that and whatnot, you know. But if there are people around you who see it going on, it kind of, I don't know, I guess it's validation, which we don't need. However, when it comes to these kind of experiences, I mean, to me, that's proof positive that it happened rather than didn't. <laughs> I don't know, but one of my experiences, somebody was there with me. And so um, it's comforting in a way because I can always come, I can always talk to that person about it, you know, because they, they witnessed it, even though they, it wasn't their experience, um, you know. And so, and I encourage people to share share, find people who know, you know, know what you're going through, been there, done that. And uh, I'll say, keep a journal, keep a journal. Um, I think dream journals, well, gratitude first, gratitude journal, dream journal. And, you know, I would say for this, this should go in the journal. Um, maybe even stand alone just for these things that are happening where you're jotting down these things that are happening spiritually, you know, and so that you can know and, and kind of track and, you know, be able to share and reflect and, and figure these things out as you go. And, um, yeah. So that's what I'm going to share today. Uh, um, I don't know, the equilibrium thing is kind of throwing me because that's, you know, when it comes to most of the um, experiences, it hasn't been something, uh, it may have been something that was um, unusual, however, I don't know, the equilibrium thing is throwing me off, so share, yeah, you know, like I said, if you, if you, um, if you will, and let me know what you think or or anything that you have to share as far as spiritual warfare versus ascension symptoms. Okay. All right. And so 
on that note, I'm going to go because I don't, don't want to make this about what I'm going through and everything. But I know that this is shared experience, so I'm not the only one who's going through this. Um, and it's just good to be able to find this kind of information when you when you need it, right? Um, especially when you don't know what's going on. And so, um, yeah. Anyway. All right. And so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, before I go, let me give y'all some love. Um, I'm on this incognito thing today, whatever. <laughs> and this is um, part two of this, um, this live that I've been trying to do. And so uh, I'm not even sure how this will come forth, but I, I got back up for the second part at least. And if um, it doesn't, then I'll just, I'll, I'll figure it out. All right. All right, y'all. So I'll see y'all. And maybe it won't be real soon, but it will be soon. Okay. I hope everybody out there is well. And, um, as we ascend, know that this is these are good things that happen. So it may be something that is abnormal, is not something that you used to. It may even startle you some of it. Like I'm a little bit kind of, I don't know. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm a little bit all over about the equilibrium thing. However, these are things when it comes to ascension. Ascension is a good thing. All right, we want to ascend. Um, I'm actually looking forward to all of us getting higher with the ascension so we can get to the next stages of what this life can bring us, what God has for us. And I think we have to all get there on some levels together. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to leave you at that. Let me give you some love, and I'll see y'all again. All right, and so give you some love. All right. All right. And as always, love and gratitude.